the dock. Hi, hi, Cosmos. What are you doing here? They also have a regular. No, oh, okay. Not a chance you get off to go. So translation, they didn't want to render a swimsuit model for Cosmos or Ziggy. That's racist. Sure, let's go to the beach. Nothing bad could possibly ever happen, ever. 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 Let's do it! Direct advice to the Kukai Foundation. Would you like to go to the Foundation? Sure! Wish you a pleasant stay. Do 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 I gotta say, Momo's bathing suit is adorable and Chaos looks a little little more like somebody you'd find on like a Hawaiian beach or something, and less like a derpy man. Shion, you're at the beach, why are you still working? And more cutscenes of her Shion, dead boyfriend. Would you laugh at me if I told you that I think she has a heart? Cosmos? Showing emotional behavior? I've run across some interesting phenomena. It's still pretty weak, of course. Almost like a tiny little pulse. Really? We should definitely keep an eye on that. I don't think you're understanding Cosmos what he's meaning, Shion. The data structure duplicates that of the human brain. So something like that's certainly not out of the question. I don't think that's what she meant. <gasps> She was empathizing with Momo back there. I wonder what her subconscious waves were like. Absolutely nothing, because she wasn't empathizing. Flatline. There you go. Oh well. Nothing here at all. Well, what's the matter, Chief? You didn't come down <laughs> to the beach just to stare at a screen What all kind day, of bathing suit is that? Yeah. Why don't you come and play with us? It makes him look very wide and very derpy. Are you working on Cosmos? It must be really tough. Ah, Cosmos. That bathing suit is really adorable on her. There's a lot of black box areas that even we can't analyze. Black box? Yeah. We're painstakingly analyzing her bit by bit so that we can recreate her original form again. The only person who knew everything about Cosmos was Kevin. Uh, So, Say, Alan, since Kevin's dead, they don't know everything you know about her anymore. Great! They look a little too far apart in age to be brothers. Eh. Uh, uh, I've heard rumors. Uh, 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 Some say Guinan cloned himself, while others say Junior's his illegitimate son, or... I don't think he's a clone. Their genome arrays are a little too different for that. Wow. You can actually see that, Momo? I'm an observational realian. I can tell your genetic structure about from looking at you. Father and son, but at the same time, they're not identical either. Is that sort of thing possible? Their DNA only has to differ by 0.1% to make them different people, right? Hey, who's an illegitimate? <laughs> of course he could uh, hear them. Man, this beach is really great. It doesn't feel artificial at all. It's our latest product. You can even change the weather. He looks really smart in that, and that is a nice armband. You have blue skies all the time, right? Okay, this. Biggest, uh, biggest just jerk move he could have pulled. He just changed the weather on the entire Kukai Foundation, and it's causing everybody to go, well, hell, somebody let Junior get a hold of the weather controls again. Looks like we're not gonna have a sunny day today. I hate thunder. She Good 
Good job, Junior! Causing her to have a panic attack. I'm sorry. I just really hate thunder. Flat ass. And yet, Junior doesn't change the weather. He can just, with a single button, change it back to sunny. But no, he keeps it on the thunder and the Elmer. rain. Busy as always, I see. Well, hello, Negredo. How are things going? Hmm. I don't really care for that name. My apologies. I'm still not accustomed to calling you Guinan. So, how can I help you? We're currently headed your way, and we're carrying an unusual package. Oh so dear. I best to inform you. Oh. I like Helmer. He's pretty cool. From an unexpected source, the Federation cruiser Woglinde. It's an emulator. The twelfth one. That matches the Utic records. Right. There's no question that it's responsible for the planetary disappearance. Assuming they haven't constructed any more, that's all of them. Aside from the original, of course. That's clearly impossible. Now that the only man who can create them is no longer alive. True enough. And one more thing. Hmm, so there's 12 emulators, and then there's the we original the Zohar. We 100 series prototype. <gasps> Momo! How did that wind up in your hands? One of our passenger freighters rescued her 76 hours ago. Is the ability to attract that sort of coincidence another one of your special <laughs> powers? I will say! Not a coincidence, but a probability, as a certain acquaintance might say. Anyway, I'm concerned with what the UTIC organization is up to. There's no such you thing as coincidence. Precautions. I'll see what I can sniff out from the UMN Administration Bureau. We can locate any large-scale gate jumps from there. Excellent idea. Assuming they have no in their possession. The odds are that they'll go after the original sealed on old Milsha. Not to mention. Udu. Udu. I don't know what their ultimate I, goal I, is. I can't even remember what Udu is. But we Except it has something to do with God. To awaken again, no matter what. Understood. We'll prepare for your arrival. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Can I play the game yet? That'd be nice. Please? Oh! Well then, it looks like I'm actually gonna get to play the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who stuck a stick up your ass, Shion? Jeez. Rest in the hotel! Why not rest in the Durandal? It's probably nicer. Already got an email. Didn't even have to walk off of the bar. Hey, what? <gasps> That's not how cloning works! If you clone a male, you're not gonna get a female. Because if it's a clone, then it's... A clone, and clone means 100% DNA, which means you wouldn't have two X chromosomes, you'd have X and a Y. I'm gonna shut up now. Oh, great. So that further from you, you're aware of this, aren't you, of the biomachine? All the machines have a program installed with them the same effects as the deadly virus? Why would they install thousands of nanomachines over m so many planets and ships and colonies with a deadly nanomachine virus? <sighs> well, everybody's dead now. Oh, 
100% of probability of death. Oh dear. So you can't solve the riddle correctly, the programs and the nanomachines will be deleted. Well, I have both of the decoder plugins, so... Okay, here's... We're gonna look this one up. There is a bridge where she is. There is a fountain where she is. There is a casino where she is. Environmental bugs floating in a dimly lit area and there is no prison cells. Possible answers, you take Battleship, the Durandal, the Phallic Ship, or Pleroma. Pleroma was where Momo was captured. Momo was in a prison cell, obviously it's not Pleroma. You take Battleship. You take Battleship had a bridge, but it didn't have a fountain or a casino. And I, well actually no, I think it had environmental bugs. So it's not the you take Battleship, it must be the Durandal. Oh, I still have a cutscene I have to do. The, the clone had a clone that's apparently a female. Killed himself. All right then. That's morbid. Okay, NSS either. Why is it not possible to contact them? Located on the Durandal. That was easy, and I didn't even have to look it up to make sure I got it right. <clears throat> Ziggy, how you doing? Is there something wrong? I just came to see how you were doing. No, I just came to see her, see how you were doing. Since you weren't in a bathing suit anymore, I didn't have to worry about rendering problems. And it looked like she was just pelvic thrusting at Ziggy. Oh god, this session's just gonna be the pervy section session, isn't it? Oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Let's go City Sector 7 and 8. Um I think that's where we want to enter. Maybe? Oh, Okay, here is the bar. And, or, is this the bar? Or am I just dumb? I could very likely be just dumb. Um, I'm dumb. Okay. Good to know that I'm dumb. We have gone into the wrong building. We need to go find the inn because the inn has a save point and then I'm going to save the game and the next time I record we are going to go through um, and explore the Kukai Foundation. Can't explore everything right now, there's some areas that are locked off until later but we can still look around and go shopping. Because us girls love their shopping. Stereotype, stereotype, stereotype. Uh, there it is! Alrighty then. Now, thank you all for watching, and this has been Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing me some Xenosaga Episode 1, Der Willizer Mach. And I'm still probably pronouncing that terribly. I will see you all later.